A small business owner told me a story. He had set up a retirement plan for his employees. It was important to him that they save some money. And in fact, he'd offered to match their contributions. And so he'd grown pretty disappointed when the participation rates in the plan were low. So one day he calls together all the employees into the conference room and he comes walking in with this sort of mysterious medical bag that looks heavy. And he brings it over to the table, he unzips it, turns it over, and out comes a huge pile of cash. Now, that got people's attention. And then he explained, this is the money that all of you left on the table. I mean, literally left on the table by not maxing out my contribution to your retirement plans. He said, at the end of this meeting, I'm gonna take all this cash, I'm gonna scoop it back in this bag, zip up the bag, take it back to the bank, and put it in my account. He said, next year, on this same day, we're gonna do the same thing. And my question to you is, do you want this cash in your pocket or in mine? He said that there was a rush to sign up for the 401k plan that day. How do we spark realizations and insights for other people? The temptation in this small business owner's shoes would have been to explain things. Here's how to sign up for the 401k plan. Here's why to sign up. You know, here's the magic of compound interest. But he didn't do that. He did something else that my brother and I call tripping over the truth. To trip over the truth is to experience a clear insight that's compressed in time and that is discovered by the audience itself. So that moment when the employees in the room finally realized what that cash on the table is, it came like that. It came with force, it came with speed, it came with surprise. It was like they had tripped over an idea. Let me give you another example. Consider a situation faced by Scott Guthrie at Microsoft back in 2011. So Guthrie had been tapped by Steve Ballmer to lead their cloud computing service called Azure. And the first thing he did was he went and interviewed a bunch of customers and their feedback was pretty consistent. They said, it's great technology, but it's really hard to use. And so Guthrie quickly came to believe that they could never realize their growth potential until they solved the usability problems. So freeze there. If you're Guthrie, how do you get your people to take that seriously? How do you avoid explaining to them and get them to trip over this truth? Here's what he did. He called an off-site meeting. He invited his senior managers and his software architects, and he gave them a challenge. He said, I want you to build an app with Azure, the same way that our customers have to. It wasn't supposed to be a difficult challenge, but they struggled with it. Some of them had a hard time using certain features. Some of them couldn't even figure out how to log in. Guthrie later told a Fortune reporter, it was a complete disaster. But by the end of the day, they had all realized what the problem was, and they had all committed to overhauling Azure to make it more customer friendly. Powerful insights come with speed, they come with force, they come in a moment. But these moments don't produce themselves. We have to create the right circumstances for our audiences to trip over the truth.